I know people always ask, what do you do? I said, well, it's like that song said, it's five o'clock somewhere. At five o'clock, morning and night, I'm milking cows. Ren and I both went to college at UW River Falls, and we met there. We went there from 84 to 88, and we graduated from college, and we decided we wanted a farm. So in July of 1990, we moved here to New London, Wisconsin. And we milked 60 cows ever since. Back when my parents were milking, four of their parents, they were getting 20,000 pounds of cow. That was huge. Now if we get 40,000 pounds of cow, it's like, ooh, that's pretty good, but it's not, it's not even that huge anymore. It's just kind of a thing. But it seems like if you give them the right feed, you give them comfort, give them all the treatment they deserve, and they'll achieve just what you want. The TMR ration is, consists of high moisture corn, cotton seed, a protein mix, which is basically mainly soybean meal based, and some minerals and vitamins along with that, and also haylage, corn silage, and also some dry hay. We always feed at least five pounds of dry hay in the mix to the cows. That seems like that just good for their room and health, keeps them eating, that type of thing. When I, people ask me about farming, I tell them you gotta have good, good cows, you gotta give them really good care and feed them really good feed. Those are the three things. I say the three C's, crops, the crops, you gotta you know, grow good crops so the cows get fed good, you gotta have good cattle and you gotta keep them comfortable, that's, that's the key. We've been farming here 28 years, and I think we've had 30 some cows that produced over 200,000 pounds of milk lifetime. And we've had four cows produce over 300,000 pounds of milk lifetime. Early on, we probably bred a little more for overall just pounds of milk, and then as time went on, probably put a little more emphasis on type as, and it's a little more on the percent fat and percent protein to get our components up a little higher to which, you know, that's what your milk check is based on and that's, that's what we gotta be, keep, our, keep our eye on, that's our bottom line. So. I like to bond with them, I don't know what it is. It's just a part of me, um, something that makes me feel good. It's just so close to my heart and my grandfather and my father and they farmed and so much of that stays with you. I grew up in 4-H and I love showing animals and meeting other dairy kids. And showing the animals led me to a cow named Bee Long Tootsie Pop. She was pretty much where the heart got changed from one place to another. There was a bond somewhere with me and her that just I couldn't say no to. Seems like the heart kind of fell with all these animals. They all get told who they are. They all get told why they're here. The Holstein Association has helped us with marketing cattle. Over the years, we've, we've sold embryos to other countries. We've sold bulls to bull studs, that type of thing. So, I mean, that, that's a nice part about registered cattle, is it kind of, it, it just provides another show, set of opportunities. The overall legs and udders of the cows is amazing what it is now, say, than what it was maybe 30, 40 years ago. The cows are. The cows just have a lot, lot better quality otter, and that's you know, just the genetic progress with, uh, I suppose, through classification through the Holstein Association to, to pick out the right genetics to make that progress. So our herd is qualified for herd of excellence. That's an award that the National Holstein Association has put on. I believe this will be our seventh year. That award's based on production and type combination and being homebred. The dairy industry is, seems to be not great right now. You can definitely say that for sure. But I would say I'm in it because I want to just keep pushing it because I know the world is better with it. Just the animals, just knowing you're going to be okay. Knowing that, well, maybe you're not going to have a lot, but you're going to have enough. So maybe that's all you need. I mean, you look around behind me today. I mean, how can you get any happier than this, being out here on a nice sunny day out in the pasture with the cows?